What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and I'm not gonna do an intro, I'm gonna just get right to it. So there was an article that came out yesterday and I wanted to just kind of cover it uh, and talk about it or whatever. This is about the leaked in breach reportedly exposes data of 92% of users. So I thought this was an interesting article to just kind of cover uh, because it's, you know, it kind of deals with cybersecurity, but I wanted to kind of explain some of these words or whatever, the way they saying it, like it was an actual breach, but it really wasn't a breach because this has to do with APIs. And if you guys don't know what APIs are, they're, they're basically application programming interfaces. And it's simply a connection that you can make to the back end of a website, kind of like all these social media sites they have. Um, a lot of them have APIs in order for people to build applications to connect to the information that's in the back end of the actual website. And I look at it kind of like uh, I work with databases. So there's one way to allow Microsoft Access to connect to a SQL database by using what they call an ODBC connection. And it's basically a file and access database or the access database. When it's open, it uses that file to actually connect to the data on the SQL database on wherever the server is located. And it kind of handles all the connection information. Now, as I stated, the way they make it seem or the way they made it seem in this article, like it was a breach. But uh, if we read through this thing, it, it kind of talks about the API. So let's go on and uh, start reading it right fast. A second, a second massive LinkedIn breach reportedly exposes the data of 700 million users, which is more than 92% of the total 756 million users. The database is for sale on a dark web, which records include phone numbers, physical addresses, geolocation data, and inferred salary. The hacker who obtained the data has posted a sample of 1 million records and checks confirm that the data is both genuine and up to date. Now, I'm in no way saying that the person that got the data didn't get it using some authorized means of actually getting it but this is an example of how a lot of these social media sites they do offer people people ways to actually connect to your information on it you basically have to sign up for an api connection a lot of times it's dealing with businesses you know they'll they'll put in a request they'll get access to their api to use the data but every now and then someone can actually get into it depending on what their whole process is and how you actually request and connect to it but it says restore privacy reports that hackers appear to have misused the official linkedin api to download the data the same method used in a similar breach back in april and they're talking about the original uh release of data i think it was like 500 million uh records or so that came from LinkedIn previously. And this is a quote from it right here. It says on June 22nd, a user of popular hacker advertised data from 700 million LinkedIn users for sale. The user of the forum posted up a sample of the data, 1 million LinkedIn users. We've examined the samples and found it to contain the following information. So 700 million LinkedIn users. And this is the information that was released. Uh, so email addresses, uh, full name, phone number, physical address, geolocation records, uh, LinkedIn username and profile URLs. And just to explain this right here for people that don't know, uh, whenever you connect to LinkedIn, depending on where you connect from, it'll store the IP address where you connected from. So that's the geolocation records. So let's say you went to, I don't know, Ohio or something and stayed in a hotel and you needed to log into your LinkedIn profile. Uh, it stores that location of, of the IP addresses you connected to LinkedIn from. So I'm assuming that's the information that, that that's part of that geolocation record and then uh, LinkedIn username and profile URL. 
uh, personal and professional experience, background, genders, other social media accounts and usernames. So if you have uh, other accounts associated with your LinkedIn profile, that information is there as well. Some people like attach their Twitter to it uh, and other social media sites. Well, that information is out there as well. It says accounts and users names. So and that's not good for people that don't want to have their social media, their regular social media tied to a professional site like LinkedIn, which I know a lot of the professional guys that I know on LinkedIn or I'm connected with on LinkedIn, they don't have anything, you know, crazy on their Twitter account that's associated with it. But there are some people that do have you know certain things that you probably wouldn't want other or potential employers to see on your other social media accounts but it says based on our analysis and cross-checking data from samples with other publicly available available information it appears all data is authentic and tied to real users additionally the data does appear to be up to date with samples from 2020 to 2021 we reached out directly to the user who is posting the data up for sale on the hacker forum he claims the data was obtained by exploiting the linkedin api to harvest information that people upload to the site yeah so he did use some kind of exploit to actually get into the api and get this information so he did do something very illegal so but then it says no passwords are included which is you know a good thing um so you probably won't have to change your password it's always recommended to change it anyway you know do it like every 90 days or so to a very complex password that's what i do on pretty much all my accounts i try to go through and change up passwords you know like every 90 days to 180 days you know what i'm saying that's just something i do personally you don't have to go to that extreme but you know it is best to update your passwords and not continue using the same password all the time but it says uh but as the side note this is still this is still vulnerable data that can be used for identity theft and convincing convincing looking phishing attempts that can themselves be used to obtain login credentials for linkedin and other sites so be aware of that uh if your information was included in this uh which I'm pretty sure my information was included as well um but look out for these spam emails or phishing emails that'll try to you know it'll it'll look more real like you know a lot of times when you see a phishing email you can kind of tell right off that it's a phishing email uh unless it's like super tailored towards you well that's one of the things now they'll be able to do a lot more in creating convincing looking phishing uh attacks so it says with the previous breach linkedin did confirm that 500 500 million records include data obtained from its servers but claimed that more than one source was used privacy short notes that the company has issued a similar statement this time while we're still is investigating this issue our initial analysis indicates that the data sets include information scraped from LinkedIn as well as information obtained from other sources. This was not a LinkedIn data breach and or investigation has determined that no private LinkedIn me member data was exposed. Oh, so, hey, I might not be included because I currently have my LinkedIn set to private and it's also been private for over a year now so the only people that can see it are people that i'm connected to that's the only way people can see my data because uh, i have it set to private being that my channel is kind of growing and people starting to look you know look into my background a little bit or whatever just to see if i'm i'm real I, I have nothing to hide but i still don't want that information out there like all the companies that i've worked for like the specific companies which i mean it's no problem uh but still don't want that information just in the public eye you know what i'm saying so anyway it says scraping data from linkedin is a violation of terms of service and we are constantly working to ensure our members privacy is protected this someone was indeed able to scrape millions of records whether using the api or otherwise that is definitely a security breach so 
that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Uh, if you guys want to check this, check this article out, I'll drop it down in the description of the video. But this was released yesterday on nine to five Mac. So I'll put the link in the description of the video. And I think I shared it on my Twitter. So if, if you don't follow me on any of my other social media sites, uh, just go on, hit me up on Twitter, you know, Instagram. I'm on all those different sites under Keep It Techie. And I think they're linked in my channel. So just check it out if you want to uh, and follow. And let's just have a discussion about tech and Linux and all things technology, in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. And of course, keep it techie.